Uh, Betsan doesn't need a huge amount of introduction because in her role as, as co-vice chair of ICOFOM, she's well known to many of us. Um, she's also a researcher on anthropology and is working with um, Marianne Tissandier on this project on material culture of the Kanak. Um, Marianne can't be here today to present with Marianne, but you're very welcome and thank you for your thank you. this morning. Uh, thank you, Katie, for, for the introductions. I am very happy to, to be here today to, to present uh, some of, uh, of the research. Uh, Marianne and I are conducted together for uh, a few a few times. Since uh, 1979, a list of Kanak objects from New Caledonia held in museums around the world uh, has been compiled as a, uh, in an inventory of the scattered Kanak heritage known in French as the Inventaire du Patrimoine Canac Dispersé. The subjects were collected in a various way, from violent to a uh, gift from Canac people since uh, 1774. The Inventaire du Patrimoine Canac Dispersé is now a database containing more than 5,000 uh, and 300 records of objects scattered around 113 museums uh, uh, around the world. This database is progressively uploaded into uh, and put online. One of the main aims of this online database is now to bring together existing resources and documentation on Kanak collections. In the context of this symposium, Marianne, who is the co-curator, uh, who is the, the curator of the Musée de Nouvelle-Calédonie, and I proposed a two, voice, uh, two voices communication around our two perspectives from mainland France and from New Caledonia. Marianne, was, uh, we also have particular uh, personal story, stories with this inventory, as Marianne was involved in the inventory and she still manages the database uh, of it now. I am researching the history of this inventory since uh, 2018. Unfortunately, due to the, the, the current political events that are happening now in New Caledonia, Marianne is unable to join us today for this communication, uh, but she wishes us the best for the conference, and we, uh, but our paper was written together. By describing the process of compiling this inventory and the accompanying documentation, as well as analyzing the long, the decade, the decades long timeline behind this process, our paper aims to discuss the concept of entangled transnational spaces using the Inventaire du Patrimoine Canac Dispersé as a case study. Starting with a review of some of the major stages of the inventory pro progress, progress, project sorry, since uh, 1979, I will then present in what, what, present what is the, the inventory practically. I will explain then uh, how it contributes to generate entangled uh, transnational spaces. Lastly, I will analyze how this inventory permits local relations and entanglements in New Caledonia itself. Just a few words about New Caledonia to introduce the topic of the inventory. Located in the South Pacific Ocean, New Caledonia has been part of the French state uh, since uh, 1873. 53, sorry, uh, as a penal and a settler colony. And later on, as a collectivité d'outre-mer, uh, as it is still. Kanak people, indigenous to the archipelago, have been campaigning for the independence of Kanaki, the, the word, the name chosen for the independent country, since the 70s. But as soon as the, the current political situation, it is still very much an ongoing issue. The idea of creating an inventory of the dispersed Kanak heritage arose uh, in the 70s alongside the Kanak cultural and identity claim movement. In 1975, a festival called Melanesia 2000 was organized near Noumea 
the capital city of the archipelago. This festival was an important milestone for the history of the, the Kanak in identity movement. The steering committee was headed by Jean-Marie Thibault, who is uh, on, on the left, one of the main Kanak political and cultural leaders. At the time of the festival's organization, an inventory of Kanak knowledge within New Caledonia was started. After the festival, uh, Chibaou commissioned Roger Boulet, a French museologist, to start an inventory of the Kanak objects, this time held in museums, both in mainland France and in Europe, with a view to compiling iconographic documentation to uh, support the contemporary creation. The identic, uh, identification work was compiled in the form of paper files, which were stored in Noumea supported by the French Direction des Musées Nationaux, which is part of the French Ministry of Culture, and from the Office, uh, Office Scientifique, Culturelle et Technique Canac, uh, um, uh, an agency created in Noumea in, uh, in um, 1982. After 1985, Emmanuel Casarero carried on this inventory particularly in museums in Oceania, when he became director of the Musée Nouvelle Calédonie. Thanks to the first results of this inventory, Roger Boulet and Emmanuel Casarero co-curated the exhibition called Deja des Deux Nacres, which happened in Noumea in, and then in Paris in 1990. 90. In Noumea, some Kanak objects were returned to their homeland for the exhibition, and some of them still remain in Noumea as long-term long -term loans since this time. In 1998, the Accord de Noumea was signed between the French state and the new Caledonian political representatives. This, this text includes a paragraph specifically devoted to the Kanak cultural objects. More, a special agreement was signed a few years later on the cultural development of New Caledonia and gave, and gave details on the two tasks to be undertaken. The first one was to draw up an inventory of dispersed Kanak objects, and the second to, was to deposit some of these objects in New Caledonia as loans. The inventory was made possible thanks to a commission allotted by the new Caledonian government between 2011 and 2015. With this commission, a team of several permanent members and Can Caledonian interns was built. The team traveled around Europe to visit museums and to see the Kanak collections. The members were part of various New Caledonian institutions, such as the Museum of New Caledonia, the Centre Culturel Chibaou, and the, 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 the North Province, but as well as New Caledonian students in France. This inventory uh, is primarily meaningful on the New Caledonian scale. Plus, it occurred at the time of the will of European museums to research their very oceanic collections. And as an example, uh, the Museum of New Caledonia was invited by the British Museums, British Museum to work on the Melanesian art project uh, due at the time of the, uh, of the inventory. This inventory has been compiled over a, pe a period of several decades, which can be explained by the, the sheer amount of Kanak objects. According to a report made by Roger Boulet and Emmanuel Casarero, 20,000 Kanak objects are now preserved in 225 museums around the world. Of this estimate, 16,000 have been studied in 111 museums. The worldwide distribution of Kanak collection is another issue, as you can see on the map, while uh, with uh, some uh, Kanak objects uh, conserving uh, the, this, uh, this, with uh, institutions conserving uh, dispersed Kanak heritage located on four continents, 
Europe, North America, Oceania, and probably Asia. Practically, Practically, uh, the inventory is a database recorded on Micromusée, uh, a museum collection management software. In January 2024, the Micromusée database of the Museum of New Caledonia contained uh, more than 5,000 uh, records of Kanak objects from outside its collections, which means that are part of the inventory of the scattered uh, heritage. Considering how long it takes to build uh, yeah, to, to build up this database, which involves locating objects, examining information in person or by email with the museum that preserves them, and then re-entering the object's record if the computer systems are not compatible, it will be a lengthy task for it to be completed with all uh, the gathered information. I will now move on on the transnational collections and knowledges created uh, this uh, created by this inventory. This inventory was not uh, a, uh, um, uh, um, not, does not include all the Kanak objects, but it gives priority so to some of the most interesting uh, objects according to their provenance, history, circumstances in which they are collected, their aesthetic value, or their state of conservation. Uh, as mentioned by the Musée Nouvelle Calédonie. Right now, uh, some of the initial paper files were digitized uh, to be added to the to the to the database, and it is uh, still an ongoing process to uh, to uh, to to check all the information which dates back to the to the eighties for some of them. Some of the cha big changes that were uh, carried that are now carried uh, by the Musée Nouvelle Calédonie include uh, changes of the numbering of the designation, the provenance or addition of more recent digital uh, photographs. The current uh, database therefore acts as a synthesis of successes, mi successive missions carried uh, out over the years. In addition to the to the object shift that, that you can see here, the inventory gathers information on dispersed Kanak collections. An online section is devoted to references and press archives dealing with the this the this Kanak heritage. Once completed, the inventory intends also to be used as a source of reference for the designation of objects. As an example, I show here uh, one of the, yeah, this one. One object that was uh, formerly known uh, as a monstrance axe, uh, a name given by Europeans because of the, the formal similarity with the Catholic monstrance. Thanks, uh, we, uh, along with a huge work made by the, the Musée Nouvelle Calédonie and uh, the Theory Inventory, the, this kind of objects are now uh, known as ceremonial acts or head burners monstrance. Yeah. As the corpus of ob objects grew, it was possible also to distinguish different designations for objects that once seemed similar into big corpus of, uh, of them, or to standardize some designation of, of them to help for research. In the future, uh, one of the big research that uh, would be con conducted is, is concern uh, the vernacular uh, Kanak names of the objects, which is planned by the Musée Nouvelle Calédonie. Even if uh, it is not easy to establish, given to uh, the 28 languages uh, spoken in New Caledonia apart from uh, the French language, uh, another with other uh, difficulties such as the lack of precise collection location and the fact that uh, objects were often exchanged between different regions within New Caledonia before they were collected. The inventory uh, reflects the intertwining of different spaces. In the one end, it connects New Caledonia the territory of origin of the Kanak objects and the physical location where the inventory is managed 
with the museums that preserve these objects around the world. Alongside creating a, cre a, a virtual platform in place of the database, which connects all these institutions. On the other hand, it also links the objects themselves through the database. Through the database, uh, it, uh, it was um, possible to reunite collections that were uh, collected by uh, the same person, but uh, that are now scattered uh, in different uh, museums. It is also possible uh, to um, uh, the, the database also uh, makes possible some deeper research, such as uh, one about uh, European fabrics used on Kanak objects or Venetian pearls used as additional ornaments that are currently conducted by the museum. This project uh, will provide more accurate dates for the objects and will improve the overall understanding of the exchange of objects as well as materials in New Caledonia. Just to conclude, uh, this uh, uh, um, database is mainly uh, meaningful for New Caledonia itself uh, uh, um, primarily. And it, as it, uh, it, uh, it is a way to virtually bring back these objects to New Caledonia and make the information available to all the Kanak people, even if the, uh, the collections are generally not precise enough to determine a group of origin. In New Caledonia, it is used as a resource by artists or by the different museums, for instance. This inventory actually show, uh, shows uh, a rare achievement of four decades of dedicated effort on this, uh, on this inventory. Which are um, one of the, uh, amongst many others, one uh, of the challenges today is also the question of translation. Uh, now, right now, it is uh, only uh, available in French, which is meaningful for New Caledonia. But uh, the uh, possible translation will uh, would open a new phase for this inventory and made it available to a wider uh, audiences. Thank you for your intention.